Yeah, I'm back, we. I think it took me. It took me out. Sorry, it's I have like, to fix my the, the CPO. Okay, no problem. I think it took me out, or I don't know whether it was my connection or yours, but it looks like it took me out. Something like that. Okay, we. So now let's get started with this writing. All right. So okay. now nar narrative. So. I think it's been a long time uh, that we do not cover that skill, all right? As you know, we always okay. cover all that. So we are having this biz test, which is overwhelming <laughs> in the screen. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Let's see how we work this part. Let's see how we cover this part. Okay, anyway, okay. Uh, I think that is so much to read in, but <laughs> it's part of the exercise, you know, something that, Sometimes, as a part of a program, we cannot control a hundred percent. But I would like you to help me. I would like you to help me reading this. We are going to analyze. We are going to read Lyme's narrative, all right? And I would like you to tell me after that what is that about. And also, I want you to choose the best summary. Look at there, okay? So there, uh, yeah. we are going to choose the you know the auctions the different auctions and I also I want to listen your opinion as an oral summary like what you understand about that uh-huh all right first one we complete these answers all right you reply you answer this question second I'm gonna ask you your general idea about this test all right all right here we go let's see how you do it Okay, I will read out loud, okay? Okay. Okay. One day last summer, I decided to spend a day by the sea with some friends. We don't, we don't live on the coast, so we met in town at 9 o'clock in the morning and got on a bus. We arrived at, te at about 10. We found a good place, took, our, took off our t-shirts and sat down on the sand. Suddenly, we heard a lot of noise. We stood up and looked around. A few people were shouting and waving near the edge of the water. At first, I thought there was a shark, but then I realized that somebody had got into difficulty in the, in the sea. Two men went into the water and carried a girl out. She wasn't moving at all. She was unconscious. They put her down on the sand and tried to wake her up. A few minutes later, an, an ambulance arrived and three paramedics jumped out. They started giving the girls emergency treatment. Just then the girl mothers arrived. She looked shocked and scared. Then the girl sat up and looked around. Her mother was so relieved. She broke down and started crying. In the end, the paramedics left, left and the girl went off with her mother. She was fine, but we all get a bit strange, especially when we were swimming in the sea. It was a day I'll never forget. Okay, so let's see. Okay. I, I have I have a set of questions for you. Number one, right. what is it about? What is uh, this I test think, about? Yeah, I think that is um an uh, un, um yeah I will talk about. Uh, I think this this is a story about an unforgettable day of lines. That is correct. That is an unforgettable day. Actually, they is pretty much narrating the situation that, okay, they were going through, okay, and it's referring at first, right, that, uh, that they don't live, you know, they don't live on the coast, that uh, they met uh, in a town, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so let me ask you another yeah. question, right? Uh, well, let me ask you something oh, yeah. else, rather. I want you to choose the best summary from A to C. Then look at that. So there we have like different choices. Look at here. So we have like different choices, different type of um, paragraph. Which of these, all right, right here, which of these do you think may be the correct, the correct summary or the, the, the best one? Maybe a paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph uh, like this one. Let me show you, okay? Maybe paragraph one, paragraph uh, two, this one, 
sorry. Okay, which of these? This, this, this one, this one, or that one? Oh, face it. Uh, if I tell you, for example, we are uh, to extract or to take a summary, all right, from that. Which of a paragraph do you think that may be the first, the best choice? Do you understand the question? Yeah, but, but uh, well, I, I think uh, the par uh, paragraph two. Paragraph two? You mean this one? Mm, yeah. Oh, no, three. This one? Yeah, I think so. Two men went into the water and carry carried a girl out. Uh, she wasn't moving. She was unconscious. Well, yeah. <laughs> In fact, this one has like more. Actually, it has like more specific details about what happens here. Yeah. In fact, yeah. it, so we are looking the characteristic we are looking at. Uh, the characteristic we are looking at is especially. All right, uh, let me tell you something so you can understand me even more. Look at this. When oh. summarizing, let's talk about this. That is not going to be only for the lesson, but also that's part of language and it's part of literature. All right, it's part of literature when yeah. summarizing a test. So the first thing we take into account is as specific details about what happens in the story. So considering that in this test uh, state more, okay? The one that you just mentioned, it says more specific details. I think it may be a good option as a summary of a whole test. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? I know, yeah, I know that. Summarizing entails subtracting the main ideas of the topic. Then when you have a specific yeah. details or you, you may have like, <coughs> Let me show you something. Uh, let me tell you something, right? So something that is that can be considered all right for a good summary is to take ideas from the first paragraph, to take ideas from the development of a paragraph in parts of what can potentially be the conclusion. With that, when you have a test, all right, especially a narrative test, allow me one second, I think Shan is calling me. Sorry, we, I think uh, uh, Shanna was uh, trying to get in contact to me. Let's continue. Okay, <clears throat> okay like right. I said before, so what we take into account by the time we are 
well, what we take into account by the time we are going to summarize is especially main ideas. How can we get main ideas, all right? They are the ones that is, are pretty much clearly, all right, you can clearly understand what is going on during the whole test. In the context of the whole test, there will be some general ideas that will allow you to talk about uh, what is happening in the story, all right? What is being narrated. And considering these main ideas, all right, this is what you are going to consider to take the summary of any test. So now let's do exercise number two. Okay, All so, right. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, now we are going to read Lyon's paragraph plan. So then I want you to decide where the paragraph breaks, all right, <clears throat> should be in his narrative. So let's see. I would like to listen to your considerations, maybe paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, and paragraph four. All right. Mm, uh, I think the first, uh, the first paragraph will end up with uh, understand. And the second one, the second one ended, uh, end with uh, the edge of water and number three is number three and with uh started crying and finally the final paragraph is uh is the um the the okay the start uh, in the end okay something i would like to let you know this is apart from the lesson all right this is out of the lesson uh -huh. it's not in the material it's not in the book but something i want to let you know so remember that um, it's a very important when summarizing, it's very important to consider the connection, the connections of ideas. Example, if you, for example, are going to read something, okay, if you're going to read something, if you're going to read, for example, a story yeah. about, let's say, give me a topic, any topic. Tell me, tell me a topic, whatever you want to say, for example, Let's say that you're going to read about um, a sports in Vietnam, all right? So when you read okay. about that specific, and that specific topic, okay, and you're going to draw your conclusions, all right? The first thing, if, 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 is going to be a written summary, all right? The first thing you have to consider is to take into account the connections of ideas. When you get an idea from a, from a topic oh. or from a test, you need to make sure, all right, that all the ideas you're trying to take out of this test, because a summary is not more, it's, it's just an, a, you know, like um, an essay, or maybe it depends. It may be like a subtraction of ideas from a topic, all right? A summary is a subtraction of ideas right. from a topic. Then in order for you to do a good summary or to prepare or make a good summary, you need to have a good coordination of ideas. If you have a good coordination of ideas, then your summary is going to be perfect. Okay. In other words, I'm talking about coherence. Does that make sense? Or make sense or okay. what I'm trying to, the ideas I'm trying to connect or the ideas you're trying to connect make sense to your potential audience? Because when summarizing, somebody else is going to listen or is going to read your outline. And this is something that you always need to keep in mind, connecting your ideas. The best you'll connect your ideas in a summary, the better it's gonna be for your potential audience to understand, all right, what you're trying to transmit. Okay. okay. Let me just go up, let me move this up. Give me a second. Okay, so now look at this. Actually, this is a writing strategy about time expressions in a, in a narrative, all right? So I would like to ask you which expressions are Lyme's narrative. But before we do this, before we do this exercise, Let's see this uh, writing strategies, all right? 
So look at this right. writing strategy and let's see some tips, all right, that we can consider by the time we work with the narrative. Look at that. All right. Narrative time expressions, all right? So we often start okay. a narrative with a non-specific time expression. Look at this. Can you, can you read the examples? Okay, the, the examples are a few weeks ago, about a month or so ago, one day last summer and one Sunday last year. Okay, this is not there. Uh, uh, well, actually this one is not there, but for example, um, uh, another one you can consider is like uh, a long time ago, three weeks ago, or, or things like that, you know? Yeah. Look at the other one. So to show how a situation changes with time, uh, we can use, all right, look at the example. Okay, at first, but then. At first, but then. So it's kind of like you're trying to connect with that. All right. Okay. So, for All example, right. um, the test is referring about the story of two guys that at first they started their journey to a new process, then after that, and then you wrap up. Understand? So okay. that is going to help you to connect your ideas. That is, uh, right. this is what we call in English sequencing. All right. Which means the sequence. Right. Okay. Next one. To talk about an unexpected event, we use? Suddenly. All right, something unexpected. Oh, maybe in your summary you're writing. Let me ask you something. In a narrative, okay. I'm just gonna make an, ex I'm just going to set an example. Look at this. So I was writing my summary. I saw that the sun was, was shiny. It was right out there. Suddenly, somebody called me. And then this way, when you ref we can you see me? We I see you're freezing. Hello? Yes, I, I think you're Hello? freezing. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me well? I think you're freezing. Oh, yes, we can you hear me? I cannot, I cannot see you. Let me see, can you hear me? We? Oui? We, oui, can you hear me? We? Oui? Wow. Yes, we, oui, I can oh. hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear well. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay I was I gonna write. You. Let me just go back to my example. Did you manage to listen the last part I told you? Let me tell you. Yes. Okay. So I was saying to all you, right. Wei, for example, you are trying to, to write a narrative, all right? You're trying to summarize, all right? Then um, all right. in the context of this summary, you just write, okay? You just, uh, yeah. you know, you have to use the word suddenly. Uh, let me give you an oral example of this, all right? Okay. An exemplification. Right. I'm just making ideas, all right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not writing a book. One day in the morning, uh, the story is about one day in the morning. Um, there was a wonderful teacher, well known, well known as, as Alexis, all right? He suddenly listened to the right. voice of somebody else, and that person's name was We. After that, he realized okay. that he has a lot of things to do, and then he started teaching English language to him. Right. You see? 
As simple yeah. as that. And that is a short, this is what is well known, short summary. You may have right. short summary is like the, you know, the shortest one. All right. And then okay. what is referring right now, right here in this, all right, in this um, definition, all right, is that uh, we talk about, an, we talk, when we talk about unexpected events, all right, we have to use the word sudden. And then there may be more words, all right? Not necessarily sudden is yeah. the only one that it is. All right. Uh, there are some other words. Now I can tell you there is a, in a flash, all right, that may be a good example. Suddenly is one of them. And there will be many others as well. I'm telling you because <laughs> I, when I see this, I remember my times when I used to teach English literature, all right? Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something else after the class once we finish this part. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. We use these expressions to move the narrative, right? To move the narrative forward in the time. So look at this. Okay. Later, a few minutes later, after why and later on. Later on. So then, in our, as you see here, uh, uh, in the, these words or these phrases, we can use this in a narrative, all right, to refer about the future. Like after that, later on, then, for example, look at this. Let me give you an example. There was, uh, this story is about, all right, that's just something that I'm, I'm just trying to use this in a summary, okay? Look at this. It's like the way okay. how you may write this in a summary. Later, I'm gonna give you a homework to do your own to make your <coughs> your own summary. Let me show you. Okay. Look at the way how you could do it because I'm gonna assign you a homework in which you will need to design your your own summary, and I'm gonna be shaking at it. All right. Look okay. at this. All right. So. In, in a context of a summary, you can say um, this test is about the story of an amazing teacher well known as Teacher Alexis. Uh, teacher Alexis was teaching English to a guy whose name is Wee. A few minutes later, uh, the student well known as Wee was understanding very well the class. Then he decided to make a summary. After a while, when he was making a summary, then he realized that the best way to make a summary was to connect the ideas. Oh. <laughs> you see that oh, the, wow. the, the only intention of, of this is that, uh, like I said before, you really connect well the ideas because um, uh, let me tell you something, especially in writing, all right, writing and especially a narrative, all right? This is something that has to do a lot with literature, all right? English literature, especially and also on grammar. I don't know if you ever have the opportunity to take uh, at a school in uh, English language. I imagine yes, all right? So have you ever had the yeah. opportunity to summarize at the school? Yeah, I have some, uh, like I have, uh, I do it myself many times before. Okay, I don't know if you ever have the opportunity to deal with this and to uh, actually if they tell you, you know, the stages of, uh, of a narrative, all right? But anyway, what I was going to tell you is that uh, always it's been, it's been very important to consider, all right, so the connections of ideas that we are going to use because there is something, uh, there is something that we need to consider which is the logical logical order that there is between the connections of ideas. So then uh, to talk about events that may happen later or refer to something that is gonna happen afterwards in the, in the narrative or in the summary. So we consider this phrases later, a few minutes later, after a while, later on, after that, then things like that. So then okay. let's continue with the next one. To bring the narrative to an end or to use, to use all right, this, this, uh, this part at the end of the narrative. So 
We can use some phrases such as. In the end. Or to emphasize that a lot of time has passed, we can use. I think you may not be okay. okay. Look at that. Finally and at last. At last, that is correct. And let me tell you something. Those are the types of expressions that we use to wrap up. Okay. You're going to wrap up. You're going to finish your summary, all right, so that you can draw your conclusions or the other, all right, the other, the other people, sorry, can understand the final argument of your summary, your outline, your narrative. So then you use these phrases, okay? In okay. the end, last, finally, things like that. Oh, okay. So then I think that, that now you may have like a general insight of what is, what is it to summarize? Let's yeah. see now number two, uh, number four, exercise number four. So we are going to complete this, this phrase of verbs from Liam's narrative in exercise number one. Then now uh, we are going to choose the correct meaning for this context. Look at there. So we have um, on the first side, we have the verbs and then we have the other the other part of the description. So I want you to match. Okay. I want you to match the the verse with the with the meanings. Number one, get. Well, get uh, get up. Look at there, you're gonna pick one of these. Uh, I think that is um, sleep. Um, let me see. Um, let me check. It's gonna be enter. Uh, okay. It's gonna be enter because remember, so get in, get on, Okay. Like get on that that's that may be the meaning in this context. Okay, let's continue with number two. So we also have take. Take um take take up uh and B. Okay. Say it again. I'm sorry, we I think you you break up you were breaking up when you just talk now now. When you say that, I think you were breaking up. Could you please say okay, it again yeah. one more time? All right. Uh, that is take, uh, take up and uh, the meaning is B, remove. Okay, that's right, remove. That is correct, totally correct. Remove, <laughs> like take up your shoes, please. This place is clean, take up your shoes. Yeah. All right, number three, All put. Right. Put uh, C. Okay. That's right. It will be put down. Okay. Okay, number four is um, A, break down. That is correct. Break down, that is correct. So and finally is B, leave. Okay, it's, uh, that, that is B, that's right. So then we have the meanings there. So the first one is get, get on. Yeah. You know, that is to enter, then take yeah. off. Yeah. That is to yeah. remove, as you said, put down. To place somebody or something on the ground. You understand that, right? It's like yeah. when somebody is trying to put you down, like, oh, Will is not a good student. I don't think Will is going to do that. Uh, you know, it's like uh, trying to um, put, on the, uh, put on the ground. Putting on the ground is like, you know, trying to offend the person, all right? Uh, to minimize okay. the person. Do you understand? Uh, okay. Trying to minimize the person. Number four, breakdown. That has become very upset. Yeah, it's like you are having a situation with somebody. Somebody's teasing you all the time. Maybe it's bothering you all the time. And you're like, 
then you explode. <laughs> All right, you blow up. So then uh, number yeah. number five. Your uh, leave, it's leave, leaving. Okay. So let me see, let me see in the here. Okay, number five, you, you mean leave, right? Okay. Yes, leave. That's that's fine. Well done. Well done, Wei. So let's continue with the exercise number five. Uh, Sorry, I think I got a cold. Uh, All right. So I will need some tea. All right, number five. So then after that, with the number five, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about to plan a narrative about an interesting experience, real or invented, made up. So maybe I made up experience. And then I want you to use this paragraph, all right? This paragraph plan to help you. Look at there. Look at this paragraph plan. So you have paragraph one, two, three, and four. So there you will need to do the following. You are going to set the sign, like one day we was at the beach, all right? Where were you? Obviously at the beach. Who were with you? We was with his two friends, so and so, and so, and somebody else. All right. <laughs> I'm just making okay. up. All right. <laughs> then you have the lead up. Okay. The lead up is what happens just before. And what did you see? What did you think? It's kind of like when I start my class, what do you remember? All right. It's, oh. what's, it's, the, it's kind of like the plot. <laughs> then after that, you're going to have the main event. Uh, the end, which is the development of the narrative or the development of the summary. There you're gonna say what happens, how did you feel? And the ended part, which is gonna be the closure, all right? There you're going to wrap up and then you're gonna say what happens in the end, how did you feel afterwards and how did people react? Do you understand? Okay. So this is the one I was telling you that I was going to assign you, but I will encourage you. I'm not gonna tell you to do, let me see what time is it. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell you to do this right now orally, because I know that you will need to take some time to organize your ideas since we have some processes. But what I'm gonna do right now is to share this to you so that you may be able to, to follow the steps, all right, one by one. So you're going to consider uh, uh, to set this in, all right? Where, where were you, when? Remember, you're going to refer the time, all right? Uh, the person you were with or the people you were with in, in that particular case, etc. So then uh, something I'm going to ask you to do, especially is the, you're going to look at this. This is another exercise. I'm not gonna make you work double. So let's do something. Um, let's make it just a combination. Let's combine. All right, exercise five with exercise number six. The same, the same uh, activity you're going to do here. So here is asking you to write a narrative using your plan for an exercise five. So you're gonna write 250, uh, 220 to 250 words and try to include some time expressions, all right? So you're gonna implement all that. We can you hear me well? We are you there? We?
Hello, we can so you hear sorry. me? Keep you waiting. No, no problem, no problem. Yeah. I know, I know it's ha it happens because of some issues with the connectivity. Don't worry. So there, I'll look at there. This is your homework. I'm gonna share it to you. I'm gonna share it to you through Zalo so that you can have the guide the, yeah. the guidance. Remember number five, number six. With this, you may be able to do a good job. If you follow these steps and remember the connections of ideas is crucial. Remember this, a good connections of idea is going to be very important for you to do, to, for you to design, all right, your narrative or your summary. So wait, in order to finish with today's okay. class, let me ask you something. Uh, what did we learn today in this amazing class? Yeah, today in, in our amazing class, we learned how to summarize a task and how to prepare a good, a perfect summarize. How to Oh. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can can you tell me like some considerations, at least one or two, we can consider for a good summary? Yeah, and uh, then how how to um uh, how to prepare for a perfect summarize and finally we learn about our narrative time expressions. Fantastic. Well we thank you so much for your time. Well, see you in the next class and hope to see an amazing job as you do all the time. Yeah, thank you. See you next have class. Have, have a good night. Yeah, we see, see you. Yeah. yeah, have a good morning. Thank you.